Hi right, guys, I hope you're all doing well today. Hopefully Cameron should not be too much longer. We'll just keep enjoying the music until he gets here. But, are you all excited? I'm talking to you guys in general chat right now, so I'll open up the Q&A channel very soon. No question, go in general. We're just chatting with each other. Looks like Cameron's online. So, one minute. Right, let's open up the Q&A chat and I'll let you guys type your questions there. Um, there's a new command that you can use if you just do exclamation Q followed by your question, you'll be able to ask whatever you like. There is a two minute call down and the questions will close 20 minutes before it ends, which is in an hour. So let's all thank Cameron for taking his time to be here today and enjoy the Q&A. Hello? Did that work? Hi. Yeah, it worked. Uh, I'll leave you to it. The questions will be in that um, Q&A chat for you. And any questions, give me a shout. And I really hope you enjoy uh, answering people's questions. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where the, where's the chat again. I'm sorry. Hmm. I don't see. I don't see where the questions pop up. Where do I go? Well, if you guys give me one second, I'm trying to figure out where the, where did I go to actually look at the questions? Sorry, Cameron, it's just above the show stage. It's called Cameron Miller Q&A. And all the questions should be in there for you. It's just in the channel above this one. Oh, okay. Ah, there we go. Oh my goodness, there's a bunch already. This. How do I feel about Montgomery Gator overall? I really dig the the pink mohawk. And I'm glad he likes, uh, he plays bass. Bass is my favorite uh, instrument in the band. I used to follow a band a long time ago. I was their tour manager. And all the bands I've ever been with, the bass player was always the chillest. And he plays bass. I know the best part about voicing Monty, um, phew, I was really nervous that day and I was late. So. Huh, I don't know. I guess the best thing was the response I got from everyone. I had no idea how, I mean, I, I knew the game was popular. I had no idea how popular the game was. And I can't believe they, uh, what are some of the deleted monologues or dialogues you remember? Uh, I said, hey, kid, come on out. We were only trying to help. That was my, I, I practiced that one forever and I don't know if it made it. Like. I heard that I only have two voice lines, which is crazy. <laughs> Am I hydrated? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, you know, I'm hydrated. Sorry, trying to read through, through all these. There's a, there's a, there's a bunch of questions. Yes, did you purposely say you can hide, but you can't hide? That was not an accident. That was part of the script. I remember being in the recording booth and <laughs> that line came up 
and I said it and I paused because when you're in the booth, they want you to say, you know, a line a bunch of times, a bunch of different ways. So I said that one once and I paused waiting for them to say, oh, no, that was our mistake or whatnot. But no one said anything. So I just kept saying you can hide, but you can't hide. But yeah, that was that was crazy. Party time. There you go. That was a. Uh, they wanted an '80s feeling for that one. Was Monty's voice inspired by characters such as Bowser from Super Mario? You know, actually, when I auditioned, their inspiration for that character was, um, if you guys have seen Guardians of the Galaxy, is uh, Windu. I think that's his name, right? The guy with the mohawk that whistled and the little pin flew all over the place. Uh, that's what they wanted him to sound like, or the inspiration for. Let's see, do I, I'm, I'm scrolling up and down. Do I like corn? You know that? You know, I get stuck in my teeth. I get stuck in my teeth. I don't dislike corn, but you know. How did you find out about Five Nights at Freddy's? Uh, I mean, I've seen advertisements for. I've I've heard of the game, but before. How long have you been voice acting? When I was a kid, I used to do like Coca-Cola commercials and stuff, and I used to do spots on our local radio station. But then I just quit for a while. But then COVID hit. I needed a job, so. I asked for this one. How do you interpret Monty's personality? I think he needs a therapist. I think he needs to just sit down and, and just work through some issues, you know, or go solo, do like Beyonce did and just, you know, go solo. Uh, do you have any social media presence? I have just my Instagram and, and Twitter. I have a YouTube channel, but all my videos are private for now, anyway. Let's see. <laughs> the real question is rock or roll? Uh, hmm, that's a good I'm a, I'm a roll person, I guess. I like to roll off and on the couch. That's that's my speed. How do you feel when Stillwood reached out to you? How was it? You know, actually, Stillwood didn't reach out to me. I reached out to them. Uh, I used to tour. I'm a comedian, and that was my job. I used to tour college campuses and military bases. And uh, my director, my boss, is actually married to um the producer for five nights at freddy's ray ray's a buddy of mine we hung out you know christmas parties or whatnot and uh COVID hit and i couldn't do my performance anymore because people weren't allowed to hang out in theaters so i needed a job and uh, i know ray worked for steel wool and i called him and i called to get a job to actually work you know because i like video games i wanted to design or whatnot and he said well we actually have this a uh, video game coming out, and I said, you have any voice work, too, because I do do voice, and uh, I never thought, I didn't think he had anything coming, but he said, you know, we actually have something that you might be good for. I think at that time, they already had someone else in mind, and so I was really, really late to the game, maybe like, like, like two days late, so I got a little lapel mic, and I auditioned from that and sent it in, so it was really... Like I had two, three days before they made their decision. So I got really, really lucky on that. Sorry guys, if I'm a bit slow, I'm, I'm, there's a lot of questions that I'm scrolling down. You guys are some fast typers. Hmm, you like barbecue? I love barbecue. Shady. What's your opinion on voicing one of the hottest characters in the series. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought everyone was going to hate it. 
and I was really nervous. And uh, all my friends and everyone told me to not look at any social media about it <laughs> in case, uh, you know, everyone hates it. Everyone hates their own voice too, you know? So I'm, I really don't like my voice sometimes, you know, sometimes my, uh, I have a little Southern twang that comes out every now and then. So I don't like to hear it. What was your, which was your favorite voice line? My favorite voice line, I don't think even made the game. It was, uh, uh, hey kid, come on now. I love that one. How did the development of Five Nights at Freddy's went for you personally? Did you enjoy working there? I enjoyed working there. Like I said, when I went there that day, I was running late. So I got out of my Uber <laughs> and I ran to the studio, which coincidentally is right across the street from where I do stand up. Uh, so I ran there. I'm all sweaty and stuff. And uh, a lot of things just went wrong. I mean, I could explain it, but there's there's a lot there. I'll explain it if you want me to, but I'm going to keep uh scrolling oh i also thought everyone was going to be there it was a zoom thing i thought i was going to meet scott and everybody but nope it was over zoom we couldn't get anything you know to work technically and you know they're spending money by the hour to do this and i'm already late so that was that was frustrating as far as i know monty's voice uh it did not change in production it was cool because they liked the first take i was supposed to come and shoot one day and then i was supposed to come and shoot another day uh which would have been great for me because I would have got paid for both of them. But um, uh, apparently they liked the first take. So, and that's what you guys heard. What's your favorite search engine? You know what? I'm going to say Google Chrome because you told me to. You're welcome. Uh, can Monty beat Thanos? I think he could play guitar better than Thanos. Thanos is, uh, his hands are too big, you know, to strum a guitar. You know, I'm not sure why the voice didn't appear. I, I wondered if it was a glitch or if it was something that, uh, that was going to come with an update. You know, I have to ask Ray about that. Uh, it wasn't hard to speak in a deep voice. I think my voice is kind of deep. Anyway, what was hard was, I don't know if it made it into thing, but they wanted me to uh, scream or do a bunch of yells and stuff. And I did that. And after that, I couldn't, I could hardly speak for like a, a month. But I didn't tell them that because I wanted a, a job if they hired me again. So I didn't want them to know that it killed my voice box. Uh, never going to give you up, never going to let you down, never going to something, something, and desert you. That's one of my favorite songs. Thank you, Cookie Cake. That was, uh, that brings back memories. Now it's stuck in my head. Right. Circus Babies. Let me read, uh, well, oh, it just went away. Uh, sorry, Circus Babies. I was just reading it and something something happened. Uh, my day is great. Thank you, Circus. You know, I like Five Nights at Freddy's. I'll, I'll tell you, <laughs> I mentioned Michelle's question. You know, before you do anything, you have to do your research, right? So I download all the Five Nights at Freddy games I can find and... You know, I tried to play him, and I'm thinking, oh, this isn't bad. This isn't scary at all. And then something jumped out and tried to kill me. So I turned my Xbox off, I unplugged it, and I stuck it in the closet because I can't handle jump scares like that. I'll have a heart attack. And I told Ray and them that at the, at the uh, shoot because they asked me how the game was. It was, I, I can't, <laughs> uh, and I can't play it at night or by myself. Yes, of uh, Diamond Glitz. I have seen the memes and art that people have made. I think it's really cool, actually. I wish I was uh, an artist. Oh, I hear noise. I don't know what that means.
I wanted to ask why Monty killed Bonnie. I'm going to plead the fifth on that. You know, you don't want to incriminate yourself. I think that's a that's a right do we have. Hey. Why are you a Chad? Is he a Chad? Like I said, I think he's just, uh, I think he's misunderstood, you know? I would love to voice act. Answering Friday's question, would you like to voice act anybody else in the future? Uh, yeah, if they would let me, I'd love to. It was, it was fun. No, never met Scott in person. Like I said, I thought I was going to, but when I get when I got to the studio, it was it was all Zoom. I'm you know COVID. You know, no one's at that time. No one's really congregating. So, unfortunately, I never got to got to meet them. I'm going to store. Want anything? I'll have a I have a Red Bull. Thank you. Death blocks. Feels good to be a part of Five Nights at Freddy's. I know all the other voice actors are cool, and uh, Devin uh, reached out to me on on Twitter, and we had a nice little chat, which I thought was cool. Um, because of course, you know, I researched him. I looked him up before uh, we did the thing, and uh, he's very talented in his own right, and he's got a great future. I mean, he's young and he's killing it. So I was, uh, was a little starstruck myself when. And Devin, I reached out to me. How did you get hired? I think I, you know, I, I like I said, uh, I called Ray and basically asked. What was it like in the recording booth, at Sonia, when I got there? I was pouring sweat. Like I said, I was running late. She asked me, um, they, well, they wanted me to sit down to do the voiceover and which struck me as odd because to do a voice, especially like Monty, you, you should stand up and use your diaphragm. But I'm thinking, well, does people normally sit down? I don't think this is right. So thankfully I asked, you know, I was like, you know, I would rather stand up for this if you don't mind. And they were okay with it. After that, once I started doing, I was extremely nervous at first, but as soon as I, you know, got one or two lines out, it felt a little more natural. Raya. Is it Raya or Raya? I'm going to go with Raya. Hey, hey Raya. Come on. There. I'm starting circus baby again. Here's a question. I hope you're having a nice day. I have two questions. Which has been on my mind for a while now? I hope I can answer them. When you were asking, uh, auditioning for money, were you not allowed to reveal your voice? Your reveal? Yes, I signed uh, an NDA agreement. I was not allowed to talk about the game uh, before it came out, which is hard because, you know, I'm on Reddit and uh, I was on the Five Nights at Freddy's Reddit or subreddit and everyone kept talking about it and all I wanted to do was just type what I knew, but I couldn't. Which is, is hard. Let's see, how was your experience with the fandom so far? I will say it was great. Um, it has been great. I, I guess you guys know that they got. I didn't get any credit for the voice for a, a while, and in some places I'm still not getting credit. But my boy Kent, my boy Kent, saved the day. And he made a, um, a TikTok for me. I mean, it was, and the rest is, is history. It was awesome. I had no Twitter followers, and he made that, and it jumped up, and it was uh, it was great. So, yeah, there's been a lot of support from you guys. I really do appreciate it. Because I, I would like to have more jobs, and if I don't get you know, credit, it's kind of hard to get more jobs. It wasn't like a vain thing, you know. It's just, you know, your boy needs to eat. Which age did you start voice acting? Like I said, I started when I was in maybe 14, 14, 15. My first audition was in the principal's office in the high school.
or Coca-Cola commercial, and I got it. That was pretty cool. The voice acting always come easy to you. Uh, I'm from North Carolina. It was easy then, but like I said, I, I had kind of an accent. I'm, I live in Chicago now, and I got an agent, and my agent made me take voice classes to get rid of my southern accent. She literally told me that I sounded ignorant because, you know, I'm a southerner, and she made me change it and said no one's going to hire a southerner, but I think it fits for Monty, so I get hired for that. So uh, she can kiss my ass. Can I say ass? Is that okay? All right. Reading, reading, reading. Uh, do I have any advice for people that want to uh, start voice acting, especially in gaming industry? I, uh, yeah, man. Like I just said, when someone told me that my voice wasn't right for anything, just first of all, don't pay any attention to that. The biggest advice is don't be afraid to sound or feel stupid, especially in voice acting. Most of it's character acting, anyway. Just, just don't. If it feels ridiculous. If you feel like you sound ridiculous, then you're probably doing the right thing. Get down. Do I like alligator? Love birds, as in to eat? Well, you know, that's in the, isn't that a little cannibalistic? And the answer is I've only had it once. Oh my goodness, this music is getting intense. Is Does that mean the faster it goes, the... I need to wrap it up like the Oscars. What game seemed the most scary to you? Big, big peen. <laughs> uh, great name, by the way. Big peen. Uh, I just want to say it one more time. Big peen. Was that uh, what game is more scary to you? I guess the the last one is the one that I researched. That's the one that I had to quit and put my Xbox in the closet and never play it again. Sorry, a lot of these questions are repeats. Want to make sure I get the. Uh, were there any of the dialogue that improvised? I did improvise some of them. I honestly can't remember which ones they were, but I, I try to add a little extra swing to it. Say my name, please. Joey does stuff. Okay, Joey does stuff. Joey, I have a question for you. What stuff does Joey do? There you go. I did not get a chance to meet any of the other voice actors in the studio. Like I said, you know, during COVID and no one was really interacting. It sucks because I wish I'd, I had of maybe, I would like to go to a Comic-Con sometime and, and meet them. I think that would be cool. I've never been to one. And when I uh, auditioned, uh, he said, if I got it, I might have to go to some. So we'll see. Right now, your thoughts about Five Nights at Freddy's community. Uh, man, I love you guys. <laughs> it's just uh, amazing. Like, a lot of you guys are talented, especially with your fan art. I think that's uh, amazing. I could barely draw a stick figure. But uh, it's been nice so far. No one's, no one's called me an asshole yet. This. You know, I was just getting into the music. Now it's gone. I don't know what that means. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, sorry. Monty is my first uh, video game. Like I said, the only voiceovers, blah, 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 the only voiceovers I've ever had done were commercials and stuff I've done my own, which no one has seen yet, my comedy stuff. Uh, I'm actually working on a voiceover when I get done with this for a... Uh, a uh, movie that someone is writing. Do you think Monty is a Florida man? Hmm. 
Langdon, that's a good question. Do I think Monty is a Florida man? I don't know how to answer that without insulting Floridians. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna have to put a pin in that one. I need to take a poll to see how many people are, are here are from Florida because I don't wanna. I don't wanna piss off, you know, the fan base. Let me scroll down more. Sorry, my questions keep refreshing and keeps going back up, and I keep reading the same ones over again. So let me scroll down a little bit. I do like the character design, Reaper Booze. Are you okay with people making that suitable for work, Monty? Thank you, uh, Sean. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't mind. I don't, I don't. I do not kink shame. Whatever, whatever floats the boat. It's funny because I was on Twitter uh, and I, I saw one. I saw. Um, I don't know how crass I'm allowed to be in this. Q and A, but I did see uh, one of uh, Monty doing a lot of oral stuff, and uh, you know, whatever floats his boat. You, as long as it's consensual, go for it. And I hope that wasn't too much. He asked the question, or they did. Can you beatbox legalized mayo? Can you beatbox? I uh, I tried when I was a kid. I cannot. I'll try it right now. Hold on. <laughs> nope. Also, can't whistle. I can't beatbox, and I can't whistle. That's a fun fact. Monty was playing, like I said, um, sporty. He was supposed to sound like... Um, I hope I'm not pronouncing his name wrong. Windu from Guardians of the Galaxy. You know how he has that Louisiana. I'm not from Louisiana. Totally different accent than North Carolina, but I think it worked good enough for them. Uh, uh, yes, it was always meant to be. I have no idea you can hide, but you can't hide means. I mean, I think that probably means you can hide, but we're going to find you. You know, just the, uh, you know, maybe... Maybe Monty is not the most educated gator out there, you know. Which, yeah, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave Florida alone. Just kidding, Florida. So I'm so big fan of Monty. I have two Monty plushies. That was hilarious because I didn't know Monty had uh, merchandise out there like that, and I've seen a lot of uh, you guys' plushies. Now I want a plushie. I bitch, there is a, a, a I can't think off the top of my head, but there is a, a nice voice acting. There's a lot of voice acting um, stuff going on in Chicago classes or whatnot that you should look for. And uh, unless they're giving you something, don't don't pay for it. I mean, pay for the class, but, you know. Will you do some, would I do Monty cosplay? I would love to, if I had a costume, and if there was a Comic-Con on or something. I have not yet played. I wanted to, um, I don't have a PlayStation. It's only on PlayStation right now. I have a Xbox, which is just sad. But as soon as it comes out for Xbox, I will get it or I'll borrow my friend's PlayStation so I can play it. I know I wasn't planning on being any character. Trying to pronounce you guys' names. Kimo Lixk. Lixk. Let's scroll down. Oh, sorry, my thing keeps refreshing over and over again. Max. S Starman by David Bowie. Love that song. Let me... 
Can you say Stephen Crazy Fire in Monte's voice? Oh my goodness, it's been it's been a while. Let me see if I can try. Stephen, oh, oh that's not that's not good enough. Hold on, I need to need to warm up my voice. I'll get back to that Stephen Crazy Fire. Stephen Crazy Fire. What do I think of Chicago so far? I think it's I think it's cold. Uh, other than that, I love this city. It's a small, big city. I love it. You know what, uh, Shady, final serious question about the possible future of Five Nights at Freddy's in general. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure because I'm not really sure what's going on, you know, with Still Wolves, Scott, who has rights to what. So I think that's all up in there. If the pizza plex existed, would I visit it? I would visit and I would eat pizza and I would play golf. I love places like that. There's a place in my neighborhood that I go to that's similar to that. What's my favorite pastime? Uh, I think you guys know the answer to that question because you guys know that I play a lot of uh, FIFA. Uh, I like to relax and do that. Other than that, I do. Uh, I like making videos and stuff or doing stand-up. What's two plus two times four? You know what? That's why I got into voice acting and acting so I, I wouldn't have to do math ever in my entire life. Do you have something in common with Monty? Like, uh, I mean, I love bass guitar, like I said, uh, and I often, and uh, I, I don't wear a shirt if I don't have to. We have that in common. And I, I do grunt a lot. So there's that. Hey, Cameron, I want to be a voice actor one day, but I have stage fright and anxiety. Do you have any tips, advice on how to overcome that? Gay plague doctor. Uh, you know what? I have uh, extreme high uh, anxiety and stage fright, which is crazy because I do stand up and anxiety is, is, is really bad. The only thing I can think of is... Um, like I said, don't be afraid to look stupid. You know, I practice a lot at home before I go out, before I do anything, that helps. You know, and sometimes anxiety helps. You can do that, you can use that in your favor. The times when I'm not anxious about something is when I usually do a terrible job. So I would say use that anxiety to your advantage. And don't overthink things, you know. And if you screw up something, people are going to forget it like in an hour. So it doesn't, in the grand scheme of things, you know, it doesn't, if you screw something up, it doesn't really matter. I think Monty and Freddie could have been good friends. I think that's why Monty's so angry. I don't think anyone wants to be Monty's friend because of his rage. I think Monty's just a mean drunk. Have you ever played Halo? I have played Halo. I was in a band. Uh, I played bass guitar, actually, and six string, and uh, I played uh, drums, hand drums, congo drums, bongo drums, and uh, played uh, saxophone and uh, bass clarinet. How many hours do you have on FIFA 22? Man. Too many, way, way too many. <laughs> Does Monty get at golf? I don't think Monty has a temperament. I think he's, Monty's the type of player that would miss his swing and, and like snap his golf club over his leg, over his knee and throw it. Or I guess he just bite it with his powerful jaws. Scroll down. If you could give a voice 
Uh, this is from Yankee Explains. If you could give a voice to a character in Security Breach that didn't have one, who would it be? Hmm. Hmm. Who doesn't have a... Who doesn't have a voice in Security Breach? I'm not sure. That one guy's. Can you say he he for me? Like as in like a Michael Jackson he he, like he he, or he he. Two two bonds. Do you think we will see Monty singing someday in a future game? You know, I hope so. I think that's again. I think that's part of his rage. I think he uh, he wants to be in the spotlight, but he's not. You know, I think. Uh, he may be a little jealous of Bonnie. And uh, I think uh, I think he might take his game solo. Let's see. Do you mind saying... <laughs> uh, Gremlin Gunners. I would like to say hello to Doe and Woofen. Woofen. I hope I pronounced your name right. Doe and Woofen. That sounds like a comedy duo in itself. It sounds like a cartoon I would watch starring Doe and Woofen. Uh, Doe sounds like a deer and Woofen sounds like a dog, like a buddy, buddy comedy between a dog and a deer solving crimes. I don't know. I'm making it up, but it sounds cool. What is your favorite movie? Man, there's, there's, there's too many. There's too many to name. But I do love, uh, I love independent movies, but I do love my superhero movies. I love, I'll watch anything Marvel related. Uh, you know, I would play you in Todd Glitch, but I would have to get my squad. We'll do three on three. I get to choose two people. And then I'll, I have not loaded the new one yet, though. And, and I challenge anyone in FIFA 22 against my squad, if you guys have it. But, you know. Hey, there's Kent. Hey, Kent. What was the name of your band? Um, God, what was the name of our band? God, it's a long ago. Uh, the band that I followed was uh, that I was a tour manager of was called Willie and Me, based out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, oh, what was our name? That was a long time ago. I'd have to, you know, I honestly don't remember. Hmm. I have to call a friend of mine. It was a long time ago. I was in. And, and by band, I mean, uh, we only played like at one or two bars, maybe three. And we were not good, hence the reason why there's no longer a band. But if anyone asks, it was an amazing band. Joey does stuff. Hey, he's back. Uh, Joey, you do a lot of stuff, actually. Say trans rights with Monty's voice. Hmm, let's see. It's hard to have to get that scruff. That's Trans right. Uh, trans right. Trans right. My partners in the other room probably really know it with me right now. We like doing your free time again. I like to. I write. I write a lot. I love to play FIFA. It's very, it's very therapeutic for me. What would you think if Monty was a real person and you just met? Uh, Dusty Devin, I think if I just met Monty, I would run in the other direction. You know, or I'd tell him to lay off the Red Bulls, lay off the uh, energy drinks, maybe sit down, read a book, you know. Uh, I'd, I'd get him like a, a coupon for like a free massage. I think he could use it, you know. Questions closed in five minutes. Please understand. Oh, okay, let me speed through it. What was your dream job when you were young? 
Uh, I've always wanted to do comedy. It was my dream job. I had a bunch of dream jobs, but I, comedy was always, comedy or acting was always the, the first one. Oh, I used to want to, I used to want to be a professional soccer player. I played in college, but that would be my dream job now. When I was young anyway. Hence the reason why I play FIFA so much. You know what, Nerxes, I didn't know that Dean Martin was a chill dude, and I didn't know that he, uh, his best friend was gay. Actually, I just saw a documentary about that like two days ago. That's very interesting. Yep. Goth gives you back pains. What are your thoughts about that? I already have back pain, so uh, I hate back pain. I mean, does anyone like back pain? I want to say hello to Christian. Christian, if you're there, Let's see. Can you please say, I'm, a, I'm a Phantom Puppet. Can you please say, I'm going to pronounce this totally wrong, but it looks like Tugipai. 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 What language is that? Is that Korean? Tugipai. Did I say it right? Okay. Favorite pizza? Anything with a bunch of meat on it. All the meat you can put on there. And it has to be triangle shaped. I hate square pizza. I don't know why people cut pizza in square shape. I hate it. I watch WandaVision. I have watched WandaVision. I loved WandaVision. I loved WandaVision. I tell you what though, it took like two or three episodes for me to get into it, but I really liked it. And the actress with the that played the Purple Witch. I can't remember her name. I'm a big fan of hers and everything she does. So as soon as I knew she was in it, I knew I was going to like it. There are a bunch of unused Monty lines. As far as I know, like I said, I haven't I've been able to play the game yet because I don't have a PlayStation, so I don't know what lines are out there. But I hear there's only two, which is crazy because there's a, there's a lot more. And, you know, I have to ask Gray why they're not in there. Because they told me they liked them, so. Who is your favorite Marvel character? Hmm. You know, I'm a. This is gonna sound cliche, but I'm a. I'm an Iron Man fan. When I was a kid, I loved Spider Man. But, you know. Big fan of Tony Stark. Do you, do I like Poland? I don't hate Poland. I've never been, but uh, they had a good soccer team. I know they kicked our ass when we played them last. But I do, I do like Poland. Ooh, Koshi, Koshiesti. Greetings to all. Berkus Pro. I apologize for everyone if I'm butchering these names. <laughs> uh, have I ever seen Monty with eyelashes? Uh, it's very important. Like I said, I look at a lot of uh, you guys' fan art, and I've seen Monty with eyelashes before. I can't remember. I think I liked one. It was really cool. He was lifting up his shades. You can see his eyelashes, and... And this version of Monty looked very uh, at peace with himself. Uh, he's, I'll call him Fabulous Monty. He did not look angry at all. Uh, favorite game, you guys all know FIFA and Daisy. I love Daisy. I love zombies. Anything with zombies in it, I'll watch and I'll play. And you or Monty moonwalk? I can moonwalk. I doubt Monty can. I think his tail will get in his way or he'd trip over it or something. Favorite Shrek film? The first one. Donkey. Whoosh, whoosh. Come on, Shrek. Come on, Shrek. Big fan of Andy Murphy. Whoosh, Shrek. Monty Gaming. 
Oh, Monty's voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. How do it? I tell you, when I do Monty's voice, I have to get my voice very, very, very scruffy. Before I did it, uh, before I recorded it, I had to go into the studio and just make my voice as scratchy as I could, which hurt like hell, but... You know. Do I think Monty be friends with staff members of the Pizza Plex? You know, I think so, because I think he would hang out with them on their breaks. Like uh, lunch breaks or whatnot, I think he, I think Monty smokes. I think he smokes cigarettes, and I think he would hang out with the other smokers at the pretty suplex when they, you know, hide from the bosses to go smoke cigarettes outside the building. That's what I think. I think when Monty smokes, he's just really relaxed. I don't think his voice is scruffy at all. You know, I think he's just faking the whole voice for when people are around to make him feel cool. You know, I think he has. I'm getting way too deep in this, aren't I? I'm going to keep going. I think he has uh, insecurity issues. Uh, three questions. What are you doing in the future after Five Nights at Freddy's? What's your favorite part of Security Breach? And do you work in the film industry? Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm, I'm trying to do. More voice acting stuff. Currently, I'm, I'm in two projects with uh, some folks. I'm... Um, there's a character, I don't know if you guys have heard of a TV show called uh, Gotham. Uh, he's a character in that, and we're writing something together. And uh, I'm in the process of producing a thing potentially for Warner Brothers, which I'll be doing right when I get done with this Q&A for something. So, I mean, I'm doing a voiceover for that for the trailer anyway, but we're, we're trying to get everything together for that. Uh, yeah. Well, Joey does stuff. I appreciate you coming, and uh, I hope you do a lot of stuff today and in the future, and you never stop doing stuff. Favorite dip? It is um, French onion. Love French onion dip. I would fill a bathtub up of French onion dip if I could. Not something. That's a good idea, actually. I'm going to do that when we get done with this. You practice any sport? Uh, soccer, yes. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys. And uh, you guys are ever on FIFA 22? Let me know. Hello, what does it feel like to be in here with us? Mark Nielsen. It's a lot less scary than I thought. I thought, I mean, I was extremely nervous. And a lot better than I thought. And thank everyone that um, let everyone know that who the real person was that did his voice. I felt, I felt very lame trying to do it myself. I didn't want people thinking I was really narcissistic or vain or something. But, you know, I just want other jobs and when I tell people to do the voice and they go look it up and it's someone else then they think I'm lying I told my little cousin that I was in it and he looked it up and it was somebody else and he thought I was lying and I really wanted my they, those are my cool points to get close to my little cousin and I didn't get credit and I don't know if anyone can still hear me so I'm going to shut up and thank everybody oh, I guess we still have time all right Thank you, 01 Fiona Lover 16. I have so many questions for you guys. Like, how did you, where do you guys get your names from? I mean, we all know Joey does stuff, but, you know, like raw or thick. We all know the cool Brad 91 is cool. Morbid child. Well, that explains itself. He's a morbid child, you know. Mega Bussy 3000. I'm going to, you know, first of all, to answer your question, my favorite food is anything with meat, cheese, and red sauce. 
anything but spicy with meat, cheese, and red sauce. I love it. And uh, I can only imagine what mega butty is supposed to mean. I have my own thoughts. Uh, I don't know what is the PG-13 rated group or not, but um, we can all imagine what mega butty 3000 means. Just looking at all, all your, all your names. Pancake, I love pancakes. Uh, gremlin, gremlin gunners. I'm assuming these are all your Xbox or PlayStation names as well. Fred Milks, again, that's, that's very, uh, I don't know if milk is your last name or if Fred indeed does milk. You know, it's okay if you do. You know, a lot of things need to be milked, like Mega Bussy 3000, apparently. Might have went too far with that one. Sorry, Mega Bussy. That's like saying Mega Bussy 3000. All righty. Well, I guess that is it to see. Uh, and uh, Mr. Uh... I think Monty or Freddie make a good couple. I do think they make a good couple because you know, like they say, opposites attract. Opposites attract. There may be, I feel like there's a big age difference, but yeah, you know, I don't know how old Freddie is. Freddy's the the teddy the bear, right? Let's go back down. You know, unlike the Rambo, we only have nine minutes. There's people either way. Oh, I'm looking at all these emojis. Corn is doing some, some moving. Uh, it's time to have no idea what any of these icons mean. I do know what egg, eggplant means, though. And I feel like Mega Pussy 3000 is behind that. But all right, guys. Thank you guys for coming. I'm going to call it on that. I do have to run somewhere. Thank you, Scar. Scar. For doing this. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today, Cameron. I hope you had a great time. The Q and A, you know, some of the questions I didn't expect would be answered, but it was um. It was hilarious. I really, really appreciate you having me here today. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. You take care and thank you everyone for being here today. And I look forward yep. to the next Q&A. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Cameron. Take care. Bye now. Bye.